Hi and welcome back to MRTV. Today I have something really special for you. The future of virtual reality is in this box here. Until now, in virtual reality you could only see things but you couldn't touch or feel them. And wouldn't it be amazing if you could actually do so? Well, now you can. These are the Dexmo Haptic Gloves. And these are the first commercially available haptic gloves that are completely wireless and have force feedback. This is the unboxing of the Dexmo Haptic Gloves and all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about VR and AR. I'm bringing you unbiased and honest reviews and I'm showing you the latest and greatest that the technologies have to offer just like the Dexmo haptic gloves. Now if this is exciting for you, why don't you subscribe to this channel now and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. I've just returned back from CES 2020 and I've seen so many amazing things. But one of the most intriguing and exciting pieces of technology that I've seen there are the Dexmo gloves. The Dexmo haptic gloves that allow you to feel and touch things in virtual reality. If you have not seen my first impressions of the Dexmo gloves directly from the show floor, why don't you have a look at the video here. These gloves are the first commercially available fully wireless haptic gloves with force feedback. So if you can afford them, you could buy them now. But not many of us will be able to afford them because the price goes into the five figures. So this at the moment is squarely aimed at enterprise customers. The company behind the Dexmo gloves is called Dexter Robotics and Dexter Robotics were thinking about a way to showcase these gloves to more people because at expos like the CES they can only show them off to so many people. I'm proud to let you know that Dexter Robotics is placing this pair of Dexmo gloves permanently here at the MRTV headquarters so that you can check them out in the MRTV experience. But now, without further ado, let's start with the unboxing of the Dexmo Haptic Gloves. The gloves come in this very nice suitcase which is made of some kind of faux leather material and this suitcase makes them really portable. I brought them in hand luggage from Las Vegas to Germany and had no problems whatsoever. The logo still was behind this protective foil and let's have a look at it. Looks very high class. The whole packaging is really nice and well you would expect this for this kind of price point. So let's open this and have a look. Here they are. These are the Dexmo haptic gloves and don't they look nice? I think they look really beautiful, very nice form factor, not really big at all and keep in mind these are completely wireless so when you wear them you are not bound by any wires. Let's take one of them out and let's have a closer look. When you wear them, each finger is completely movable in all directions and well, you have this kind of force feedback and I'm going to show you this in a moment. I'm going to wear them, I'm going to wear the right glove just to show you how it works. So first of all here, you have to tighten the Velcro and I was told to really keep it tight so that you will feel the vibrations because there's not only force feedback, there's also haptics here. And these haptics show in the form of vibrations that your hand will feel and especially if you tighten the Velcro really tight. This is how it looks when you wear them and now let's listen to the motors for a moment. Now that's really interesting because these motors will hold back the fingers once you touch something in virtual reality and I'm going to show you that in another video. Now what I think is really interesting, even though I'm wearing the Dexmo glove, the movement of my fingers is not restricted at all. See what I can do here and I believe if I could play the piano I could still do that 
even while wearing the Dexmo haptic glove. Let's see what else is in the suitcase. So first of all, we have this USB hub here and thanks to this USB hub, we can charge the Dexmo gloves at the same time. Also, we can connect the transceiver to the computer and I'm going to show you that little transceiver later. Let's have a look what else is there. So I can already see there's a power brick on the right. Let's get this out. This is not made for Europe, but no problem. I will have another one for that. Then here next to it, we have two USB-C cables for charging the gloves. And now that I see that, I haven't shown you where you can charge it. So let's have a look at the ports of the Dexmo gloves before we go on. So the Dexmo gloves have one button and this button is simply to turn on here and on the other side we have the usb port let me show you that as well well here's the dexmo logo which will glow once you turn it on we'll show you that later so here is the on and off button and on the other side we have the usb c port Next, we have some screws here, and I suppose these screws are meant to attach the Vive Tracker or the Oculus Touch Controller to the gloves, but I'm going to find out about this part later. Then next, we have adapters, and with these adapters, we can actually connect the Vive Trackers or the Oculus Touch Controllers to the Dexmo haptic gloves. And let me just quickly show you how this will work. You simply take the adapter and slide it into here. Can you see that? It's made for this adapter. So slide it in and it will click into place. And then you can easily attach the Vive Tracker here. And this is what I'm going to do once I receive the Vive Tracker. It should be here by tomorrow. The last thing in the box is this little transceiver. And what it does, it connects to the Dexmo gloves wirelessly and connects them to your computer. So this will be connected to your PC by USB-C and then the Dexmo gloves connect wirelessly to this little transceiver and receive the signals from and will send signals to that transceiver. Now, really interesting, there are three different ways to attach the Dexmo gloves to your fingers. First, these loops here, and this seems to be the standard method, but there's also a glove. And if you wanted to use the glove methods, then you would get rid of these loops and instead connect the gloves to the Dexmo haptic gloves using these kind of hooks here. So then you would simply get the loops off and they are connected to the Dexmo gloves by some kind of magnetic mechanism. And the third method are these plastic cups. Actually, these plastic cups were the ones that I used in Las Vegas at the CES and I actually pretty much like this way to connect the Dexmo gloves to my hand. And let me show you these magnetic hooks once again and a bit closer so that you know what I mean. Here they are and you can find these hooks on the gloves, on the plastic cups and on these Velcro loops. And that's it. That was the unboxing of the Dexmo gloves. And here they are, the Dexmo haptic gloves. Completely wireless, as you can tell, and they are light and have a small form factor, especially when you compare them to some other haptic gloves that are on the market. And of course, the star of the show, let me show you the force feedback. If I move my hands, you hear the motors, right? At the moment, of course, that's only because I'm moving them, but once they are connected to the server and once I really use them, these motors will hold back my fingers. Like for example, when I'm touching um, like a ball, for example, then it will stop here and I will not be able to move my fingers because the force feedback is going to hold them back. Really nice and I can't wait to show you more. I would show you more now already, but I'm still waiting for the Vive trackers. As you could tell, you can connect the Vive trackers 
to those gloves and then you can use them in virtual reality and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So once the Vive trackers are here, once I have all the software to run this, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use them in virtual reality. Oh my goodness. Check those again. It's just too fantastic. And here, the Dexmo, it is glowing actually. It's too bright now. Yeah, okay, like this, you can see it. And once the batteries are gone, once you have to recharge them, this will turn red. Very cool, very nicely done. And I can't wait to show you more. And of course, if you want to try them out yourself, you can do so in the MRTV headquarter at the MRTV Experience. The link to book your slot is down in the description below. It's absolutely worth it. It is super fascinating. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.